Welcome back to another drill design tutorial. Today we're going to talk about rewriting your drill and more specifically on eliminating one performer from a drill file. It's fairly simple and there's a couple steps to use. Uh, you want to make sure that you go page by page and uh, close up the spot. Uh, but I have a specific process that I think that can help you uh, make it go just a little bit quicker. Let's get started. All right, welcome back to a drill design tutorial. Today we're talking about rewriting drill. Okay, now you need to remember a couple things about rewriting drill, especially if it's in the middle of a show. If you've had a student drop out or they couldn't continue uh, and you need to um, rewrite for one person, say you lost a, a tuba, one of these tubas, tuba two, three, one, or four, you've got these four guys. What I like to do is just kind of select them and just kind of see where they go because if I can get, if I can eliminate from the drill the tuba two dot, but it was actually tuba four, the kid who, who ended up um, you know, not being able to do it, I'll still eliminate the tuba two dot and then relabel, okay? So looking at this, I've got four, one, three, two from front to back. Let's just say it was tuba four who has been eliminated. Okay, is it going to be easier to eliminate tuba four dot or tuba two? I don't think it really matters so far. They stay next to each other the whole time. They're going through. But let's just say for, well, we get up here, they're all, they're all next to each other in the same order the whole time, so it should be all right. All right, so we get to this dot and we see if you eliminated tuba four, you may have to redo this so it looks better. But if you got rid of tuba two, that would just leave this corner off and maybe you could even connect the mellophone there to make it look fine. Well, you wouldn't connect the mellophone there. Okay, but it would still look better either to have tuba two dot gone or tuba three, probably tuba three so that these block forms you don't need to mess with. So we know that we need to eliminate tuba three from the drill. Okay, so I would go to, uh, first of all, save it, save as, and you could call this uh, movement one um, new numbers or the date or something to say that this is different. And it's good to save it as a different file because maybe you need to go back uh, or you did this and you realized it was too much. Edit, delete, delete performers. So we deleted tuba three. Okay. And Let's just go ahead and go through page at a time and make sure we're good. So this was a 16 count move for them. Okay, now I like to use a tool called the morph tool. Okay, and that will select all the people that that person has been uh, in the form with. I do the morph tool and I click delete half. And that closes up the interval nicely. So morph tool, delete half of the handles. All right, now looking ahead, it looks like this is the arc that they were in. Morph tool, delete half, accept. Okay, the hold, it looks like it's, it's good. Looks like the tube has moved this way. Select that arc, morph tool, delete half of the handles, and it just closes up the interval. Now, if you notice a flat spot, you can just bring one of those over and arc it back out. That's why I like the morph tool. Notice in the hold it messed up. You wanna to go to every page, every single page tab to make sure they're correct. Okay, it looks like in this form, that was a, a really big form. Good, delete half. Look around at the form integrity. Looks like it still remained good. Okay, interval opened up here a bit. Morph tool, delete half, or you can just move one of the handles and it'll close up the, close up the shape. Looks like in the hold, it was moved, okay? Or reset at some point. So now it looks good. Next set.
And now you've saved yourself a bunch of time because you don't have to mess with the block tools because the block was fixed by eliminating the proper person. Okay, and then you're there and that's the end of the movement. All right, so now you're not done. We need to relabel the tubas because there is somebody in real life ending right here and we cut out two before. So we have two, three, and one. So we need to make sure that we relabel these correctly so that it says, uh, we'll go ahead, two. We'll make this one two by three, and this one will be two by one. Except now, after 16, they should be in the proper order, two, three, and one. And those people will be in the correct order and nobody got messed up. So that's one way uh, to rewrite your drill. Uh, if you have some other things in your drill that like, like curve paths and follow the leaders and that sort of thing, um, you will need to redo those uh, transitions in Pyware. So whether or not you wanna do that, if you're a band director watching this video and you want to actually redo the follow the leader so everyone is, is correct in the, in the form, or you just do that in real life. Uh, you just do it in real life. Sometimes it's easier just to leave the hole there and then tell the kids, fill it in, move over, move over. This is your new spot here and do it. It's a little bit old school, but it's definitely something that saves a lot of time on your end, on the computer end. Uh, we all know that you have uh, a lot to do in your day, uh, let alone rewrite drill. I hope this video has been helpful to you. If you like it, like and subscribe to my channel and share it. That would really mean a lot to me. Take care.